This week, there are three messages I'm going to talk about. First, in markets, it was a good week for data, and equities also rose. Secondly, I'll talk about President Trump's speech. It lacked clear details, but it also lacked controversy. And lastly, I'll talk about the increased expectations for interest rate hikes and what this means for bonds and for currencies. We saw strong economic data and rising equity markets this week. The FTSE 100 hit a new high, boosted by a falling sterling. As FTSE has a lot of international companies, when the pound falls in value, the international revenues of these companies rise. For inflation, we saw rising numbers across Germany, the US, and Japan. In Germany, inflation hit 2% for the first time in four years. In the US, inflation hit 1.9%, which is just below the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%. And in Japan, inflation was positive at 0.1%, albeit, but for the first time since 2015. President Trump gave a fairly measured speech to the US Congress in the middle of last week. Markets reacted positively, as it was a clear departure from the more combative and fiery rhetoric we've seen from him as of late. The speech lacked details about tax reform, about deregulation, about his infrastructure spending plans. But he did mention that he wanted to spend a trillion dollars on infrastructure. There would probably have to be funding from this for more bond issuance. And the U.S. Treasury talked about issuing 100-year bonds, which might be used to fund some of this spending. The probability of a rate hike by the U.S. Federal Reserve on the 15th of March rose from 40% to 88% last week, as measured by trading positions taken by market participants. This led to bond prices falling and to financial equities rising, as banks will benefit from higher interest rates. The dollar also hit a seven-week high versus other major currencies. Sterling dollar fell below 123 and was also not helped by the fact that the House of Lords wants to amend some parts of Theresa May's Brexit bill. A final word on our portfolios. We hold more equities than bonds in our portfolios, which means we're well positioned to benefit from a strong and growing global economy. We also have exposure to financial equities, which will benefit if interest rates rise. We continue to like themes like healthcare and technology as we think long-term trends support these sectors.